Hi, I'm Mike Tripaldi and I'm with The Art Nook and I have my kids here today. This is my son Oliver and this is my daughter Finley. And we are happy to bring some free art lessons to you over the next couple weeks uh, while you're all going to be at home and we're happy to do some fun art projects with you guys. So the projects that we're going to be doing are just with simple art materials that you have at home. And uh, for today's lesson, what we're going to be doing is creating these really cool radial designs. I'm an art teacher for Nazareth Area School District and this is a project that I've done with the kids a uh, couple years back. And so this is one that we could simply do with just some materials you have around the house. For instance, all we need is simply two sheets of regular computer paper that you have in your printer. 8.5 by 11, uh, a Sharpie, which everyone mostly has, uh, a pencil, and an eraser, and paper clip, and a ruler. It doesn't have to be this type of ruler, it could just be your standard straight ruler, works fine. Uh, but other than that, let's get started because that's all the art supplies you need aside. Uh, from either some crayons or some colored pencils, whatever you choose to use. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. With the first uh, paper, computer paper, you're going to just fold it. And I'll put these off to the side so you can see. Because the idea here is for your radial design, your radial symmetry design, you want to create a square. And so the paper is 8.5 by 11. So the square is going to be eight and a half inches by eight and a half inches. So simply without really needing the ruler for this part of it, all you have to do is just fold it over like this. And then you just make sure that this straight edge is right up against the edge of the bottom part of the paper. And you've already then completed a square. Once you cut this out, you're gonna just take a scissors and you're just gonna go right up against where you had folded the paper and then you can just get rid of this excess you can just get rid of this excess you don't need this this could just get put off to the side and now you have you have a square all right then with your other sheet of computer paper that I mentioned because you would need two you're gonna cut a square that's going to be four inches and a quarter four and a quarter inches by four and a quarter inches and this is going to be your template that you're going to create. Your template's going to be important for you to make your overall design for here. So we're going to just put off this one off to the side for now. And on this little sheet, all right, Finley and Oliver, you have this little sheet here. Make sure you have the little sheet. Okay, good. Now show everybody your little sheets. All right, cool. Now with your little sheet, you're going to take your pencil. All right, and on the top left. Can we draw? Uh, not yet. Not yet. We have to label it with the letters. On the top left corner, you're gonna write the letter A. And if you need help with that, I will help you. Correct. And then, so it looks like this. The top left corner is gonna look like that with the letter A. And now what you're gonna do is flip it over to the back. And at the the top right corner. You got it. You're gonna write a B. You're gonna write a B. Yep, in the top right corner. Like that. So the top left corner on the front has the A, and the top right corner on the back has the B. Are we gonna do C? Okay. No, there's no C, Oliver. It's just A and B. So then on, on your big paper, your big square, you're gonna write the letters A. B, just like that. Everyone want to show? And then you're going to flip it around. And then you're going to write A in the top left corner and B again. So it's A, B, A, B, just like that. And that will make sense in a couple minutes after we draw our design in the template. So when you create your template, you're only creating one fourth of the design. You're gonna start in the bottom right corner, 
And you're gonna just do some simple shapes and line designs starting from the bottom right corner. So we might want to do something like an oval, like one fourth of an oval. We might want to draw one fourth of an oval. But you can create your own design. You don't have to do the design that I'm doing. See, for this one, I started with one fourth of an of an oval design. But you can do your own thing. And then the next. You're gonna just add to that and then work your way. You're gonna to add to that design and you're gonna work your way up to the top left corner. So maybe I wanna do a parallel line. Like this. And then you're gonna just keep adding a couple simple shapes and lines and have it move towards the top left corner. Leave a lot of space in between because we will be going over this with a sharpie. So keep your designs nice and big. I want to do a zigzag type of design. And then you could add some geometric shapes. Maybe you want to do some diamonds, some circles, some squares. And just have a few different designs. On your, on your template, just like that. Cool. All right, so after you have your design created, you're gonna just go over the entire thing with your Sharpie marker. If you don't happen to have a Sharpie marker, you could also use a black marker. All right, so once you're done with that, then you flip it over to the B side and then you do, you trace the design on the B side. Yep, a lot of times if you're using the Sharpie marker, the marker will bleed right through the paper, but you just wanna go over it one more time just so it's nice and dark. So now that you have your template done on the small paper, you're gonna transfer that to the big paper. And all you're gonna do is match up the letters with the letters that you marked on your paper. You're gonna take the A with this A in the corner and you're gonna match it up by putting the template behind the big paper. And then you're just gonna paper clip it. Just like that. And now on the front, you'll be able to see through the paper and you're gonna just trace it with your pencil. Yep, just like that, Ollie. And now what you're gonna do is take the paper clip off, and then you're gonna flip this over so that the template is now behind the B. So you match the B to the B, and then you paper clip that. You just wanna make sure that it lines up so that it matches your design really well. So that when you can see through the paper, so it makes sure it just lines up and matches. And then you're gonna paper clip that and start tracing it again. If you're having trouble seeing your design, you could always bring your design to the window and you'll be able to see the design really, really clear through the, through the window with the sunlight shining through. All right, so that at that point, once you have your design like that, you're gonna just flip it over and do the same thing, repeat the same thing, matching up the A to behind the, the A in the top left corner now. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna flip it over so that the B's match up. The B to the B. The A to the A, B to the B. That's awesome, guys. Let's match up the last one. You're gonna take your Sharpie and start outlining all of your pencil lines. Once you're done sharpening your design, and we're all done sharpening, you're gonna take an eraser, and you're gonna just erase any pencil lines that you can see underneath the Sharpie design. And then, 
simply color it in. You could use crayons, you could use colored pencils, whatever you want to color in your design. Make sure you also remember to erase the letters at the top corners of the design where we originally wrote A, B, A, B. Uh, before you start adding color, make sure you erase those. Excellent job, everybody. And here are our finished radial designs. Even our little guy made one. And here's how they look all colored in. Everyone, hey, Finley and Al, Finley and Al, you want to show them? Here's how they look all done. All right, well, thanks for tuning in and make sure you tune in tomorrow for another art project. Bye, I love Bye, you. Bye, everybody. Bye, I love you. Stay well. Bye, I love you.